Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Um, yeah, so the timing is fluid. Now we have this Envy card that is reversed, so I, there could have been some jealousy issues. I think they're coming to an end. If there's been jealousy issues, I think it's, I, you know, I, things are going to wrap up. Things are going to wrap up. There could also be somebody that is extremely jealous of you. Um, they want what you have. All right? Um, if that is the case, don't worry about it. Don't engage with those people. Um, when people are jealous of you, you're doing something right, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that is the case. So I do believe that you need to not worry about people's jealousy. I feel like that could be an issue that comes up this week. You could ha be dealing with some animosity from people that, you know, wish they were in the position that you were in. But we're going to go ahead and get another one. Um, this card's not intended to be reversed. So what do we have for Gemini? Angel of strength. So yeah, you're going to have to be strong this week. I do believe, and it's interesting because I just looked on the bottom, we have hostilities. It's reversed. It's the end of a hostile situation. I feel like you've been in a hostile situation. It is probably coming to an end. Um, now, strength is a card of perseverance and uh, confidence and willpower. I do believe you're going to be given some extra strength this week. You're going to be needing to rely on your inner strength. And there's some sort of support around you. Maybe it's angelic support. You're gonna, you're really going to need to restrain yourself. Uh, if you think about that lion, that lion's mouth is not open. That lion's mouth is closed. So you may have to restrain yourself and keep your keep your mouth closed. Okay. I'm just being honest with you. I feel like you're really, really, really going to be finding your inner strength this week to restrain yourself from a certain, a certain situation. It's interesting that the envy card came out because you have somebody around you that's probably going to push your buttons. Your buttons are probably going to be pushed and you're going to need to master your emotions and remain calm. Remain calm during this time. And it's interesting because of that hostilities card. So yeah, I think that you're going to be, be put in a predicament may, where you may want to roar. Okay, you may want to scream. You may want to you know, fight back and, and, or say something that you could regret. So my advice right off the bat is to keep your mouth closed and restrain yourself. Okay. Restrain yourself from engaging in the hostile situation and just know that people are jealous. They're jealous. Let them be jealous. You know, it's, 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 it's a wonderful thing to just sit back. Silence speaks volumes. It speaks volumes. That speaks of your character. Kill them with kindness. Okay? You kill them with kindness and it will kill them. On the inside. Because that's, that's you winning. Okay? So remember to be calm this week. Restrain yourself. Okay? Right now, you have a power. The universe is giving you the power. They're giving you the strength. You're in a very powerful position. You are with the strength card. You're in a powerful position. You now, this, the thing that you need to learn is to master your emotions. Just, just refrain and listen and, and listen and let them dig, let them dig their own grave. All right. So what do we have for Gemini? This is a graceful approach. So you're going to need to take a graceful approach this week. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Funnel. Period of frustration. Lessons to be learned. There is a lesson to be learned this week. So you're going to be learning some sort of lesson. You have a new opportunity waiting for you. A new door that is opening. Um... A 
harness your inner power this week, okay? Do not, don't, don't let ego get the best of you either because the strength card can be a card of ego. You know, sometimes when you're in a powerful position, we can let our egos get the best of us. So uh, remember to tame your ego this week. Just, if I was you, I would just do the best you can to refrain yourself from engaging, okay? Um, somebody's obviously going to make you frustrated. And maybe the lesson to be learned is strength. Because this is a, strength is a major life lesson. It is the strength and the willpower to hold yourself back or to let go of something. Just let it go. So this lesson to be learned is strength. Okay. Um, there is another opportunity that is waiting for you. A door is going to open very, very soon. What do we have for Gemini? You know, I, I, I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra because I, I wanted to say Libra. You could also be dealing with a Leo. Um, four of coins. So the four of coins is holding on. This is, this is about stability, thinking about something. We got somebody here that is thinking. They are not wanting to let go of something. Very, very stubborn energy. This is all about stability. Um, this person has plenty. And it feels like they're unwilling to give. They're un this is somebody that is unwilling to give. Now, this is also holding on to your stability. I feel like you have a, you're stable. I feel like you are stable. Maybe you aren't supposed to give. You, you know, you may need to be strong and not give yourself away or not give something to somebody. Don't give them what they want. Show them your strength. Show them your stability. Show them how secure you are. Don't let them see your insecurities. Somebody is really going to push your buttons this week. They are. Yay. Yay. Okay. Four. Because he, and it's, it's buttons. I just saw the buttons. So somebody is definitely going to push your buttons. And, and you know, this guy just needs to sit back. And look, look, don't look happy. You know? Doesn't look happy at all. You're going to have to just sit back with your mouth shut. And let them, let them self-destruct. Okay? Because I, be, I do believe that they're going to self-destruct. And don't you don't need to engage in their hostilities. They're jealous. They are jealous. Four of Wands. Now, Four of Wands is about a commitment, a get together, a home. It may have something to do with a foundation or a home. We have two fours. Fours are angel, universal protection. All is well. There's really nothing for you to worry about. This may have to do with a commitment. Could be a previous commitment that you made. Could have to do with your home. Could have to do with a family member. Two of them. Page of coins and the ten of cups. So this, there is an opportunity. You're going to be given an opportunity this week that could lead to a lot of happiness. I'm not sure if it has something to do with a child. Let's see the child here. And this is a child as well, so it may have something to do with a child, but this is stability. This is a new opportunity. It's a new doorway, a new prospect, a new enterprise. You're going to be given an opportunity this week, You you're, but you're going to need to focus. It could lead to a lot of happiness. I wonder if there's going to be a reunion here for some of you. And I know that's a whole different story, but the Four of Wands could be a reunion with somebody from the past, if that's what you, I mean, you're looking for. I think, I think that you're definitely going to be presented with an option, and you're going to be thinking about it. This person is thinking. You're going to have to think. You're going to have to. And the Strength card's a card of healing as well. You may have been through a period of healing. You've healed from a situation. Now you're presented with an opportunity for something, and you need to think about it. Um... There's a lesson to be learned. I do believe that you're going to be frustrated this week. You could have a previous commitment that is coming back around. They're going to be pushing your buttons. They're testing you. You're probably going to be tested. You definitely have a, you may be presented with an opportunity that you are unsure of. Maybe you already have enough, you know, and you're not sure that you want this, you know, because I said this person already has plenty, you know, but it feels like you're going to be getting another opportunity. Maybe you don't want the responsibilities, um, anyhow, I do believe that um, you're getting an opportunity. 
and it has to do with a relationship and it's going to be a lot of work and I feel like you, but it could make you happy. It could make somebody else happy. This is a blessing, okay? This, this is a blessing, but I'm not sure that you want the opportunity because the page of coins is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. Um, this is a stable relationship. So you're, I feel like you're going to be getting an opportunity that uh, it's, a new, it's a new enterprise of some sort. It's an opportunity that is waiting for you uh, to go down a new path. That does lead to happiness. And you're going to have to think about this. You're going to have to think about whether you want to go down this path or not. It's interesting. It is very, very interesting. I feel like, I mean, this could be like a permanent love. Okay? So. Permanent commitment. Some of you are... Uh, gonna need to focus you're really 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 gonna need to focus interesting so we have a couple different things going on here you got somebody that is jealous of you that is pushing your buttons you're probably very stable where you're at you have some sort of power this week you do you have some sort of power the power is in your hands you're getting an opportunity that you're probably not sure if you want. This could make you very happy. It could. But it will be a lot of work. It may have something to do with a child. I'm not sure. Whoever this person is, they are thinking. They are thinking about a relationship. They're thinking about giving you an opportunity. Or this is you that is thinking about an opportunity that is being offered to you, whether you want it or not. Nine of coins. Oh, my gosh. So this is, this is stable, stability. We have a very stable individual here who is self-sufficient that is just enjoying life, you know, that is enjoying the fire things in life, has plenty, very, very abundant, doesn't really need anything else. Some of you are getting a new business opportunity. You may be starting your own business. You may be getting an offer to, you know, you may be deciding to start your own business, start from scratch, start your own thing, do your own thing. Whatever is happening, this is about financial stability it's, or a stability period or, an, or a long-term stable relationship, you know. So if somebody is, could be getting into a commitment, okay, um, or signing a contract. And I don't even see contract, but that just came out of my mouth. Somebody is, we have a very stable, solid individual here that is abundant, that... Uh, is looking at a relationship, is looking at a new prospect, looking at a new opportunity that could bring them a lot of abundance, even more abundance than they have now. So, you know, we have two people here as well. We have somebody here that is thinking about a relationship. They're thinking about another person's value. They may be fearful of being accepted. Um... They may, they may have been jealous in the past. There could definitely be a reunion here. This person may have been angry in the past with those hostilities. They want what you, they want what you have, you know, they want what you have to offer. So anyway, I'm not sure if there's a reconciliation or not, but I think there's a new offer. And this may be a brand new offer with the page of coins. That is definitely starting from scratch. Somebody is coming into you with something. They're coming in, in. They're coming towards you with an offer, and this is a stable offer. Okay, that brings a lot of money. It brings a lot of abundance. This could be like a power couple that both have the skills to work together to build something really, really solid. And there's a lot of happiness to be had. A lot. So you may be getting into a new commitment. You could be building a new foundation with somebody. I do believe there's been hostilities and you're going to just need, maybe you give this person a chance, you listen and don't roar because maybe you've worked with this person in the past and it didn't work out and maybe that's where the roar comes from and now this person just is, you know, 
wanting you to listen, my advice would be to listen. To listen. I feel like you are very, very skilled at whatever you do. And whoever is making you this offer, they see your skills. Somebody is going to be making you an offer based on what they see, based on the skills that you have. Okay, they, they see your ability. They do. They see your strength. They see your strength, okay? They do. This is strength. This is strength. They see. They see that you are capable of success. And they are, and they've been, and they're stubborn. So this person is stubborn. They are, they, they're thinking about whether you will take their offer or not. You know, and I, I don't, and I feel like they know. They know that you are independent. They know that you are happy. They know that you are successful. And so I feel like they're struggling. You, the, whoever you're dealing with is struggling with making you an offer because they see your independence. They see your strength, you know. The devil reversed. Ooh. So the devil reversed. That is breaking free from toxic behavior. Breaking free from a toxic relationship to offer you something. Somebody may be letting somebody go, okay, that was toxic, that was unhealthy, that put them in a dark place. You could, you could be letting somebody go as well. We could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, there is letting go of something with the devil reverse. We have somebody that is in a deep, dark place. They may be angry. They may be depressed. Things may have gotten worse with them. They may be going down a new path. They may be losing something. You may be severing ties with this person. There's another opportunity for happiness here. Anyway, I do because this is severing ties from a toxic situation. We have a stable, solid individual here that can take care of themselves quite well. And it's easy to see. So I do. I believe you're going to be receiving a message or an offer from somebody that has probably, um, I don't know, it feels like they've treated you unfairly. This person has ego issues, big ego issues. I feel like this person has been thinking about everything that they have done. They may be um, finding their moral backbone to do the right thing at this time, to take charge of a situation. Somebody's going to be taking charge. They want happiness. All they want is happiness now. So I do feel like this is going to be a week where somebody pursues you in some way. I feel like this person has fought because of that hostilities card. They fought with you in the past and you may you may want to you may want to, you know, rip them apart because of that that do you notice that line? Remember when I when I looked at it, I saw that the mouth wasn't open and it's not, but I pictured the mouth being open in my head. You may want to roar, you may want to fight back, you may want to scream at this person. But I feel like whoever you're dealing with um, has really thought about their actions. And I feel like they were in a dark place. They were depressed. They were in their ego. But it feels like now they see an opportunity in you that could lead to happiness and abundance. So I feel like this week you are going to need to be strong. This opportunity will probably be presented to you. This is the very, very beginning because of the page of coins. That is a... That is a messenger. That is a new start. Okay, it's a starting starting from scratch. Really, it's not going to be easy. So you may you could even be receiving an apology from somebody. Um, one more card. One more card. Somebody's going to be doing something very practical. It's like I got to be practical. I got I got to do the right thing. Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is taking, making an approach, uh, following the heart, making a move, um, looking for love. It's all about love, searching for love. It's all about love now. 
somebody is was in a dark place but now they just want happiness they want love somebody is going to be acting on their feelings they're going to be declaring their love something like that expressing their affections after they've been extremely stubborn you know or they've been egotistical or in a dark place or something like that i do believe there's going to be some socializing going on there's going to be talking there's going to be maybe even a need to forgive you know to act with compassion anyway i do believe that uh we do have somebody here that is going to be um expressing their feelings they're going to be making a move they're going to be following their heart and they're going to be doing something in a more loving manner than they have in the past um so yeah i do believe that you got somebody that around you that is going to be supporting you that is is going to be you could even have an arrival some of you may have an arrival of some sort whatever is happening there is an opportunity for happiness here that could lead this is like a permanent love a permanent situation this is a permanent foundation a permanent commitment some of you may even be getting a proposal from somebody but in this proposal it doesn't have to be a marriage proposal it could be a business proposal so there is a proposal here you are going to get a proposal from somebody whether it it could even be about a child there is going to be a proposal that's what this is a proposal that is made that you probably uh don't trust this person and this person has done something in the past from their ego you know they've acted out of ego they've been in a dark place and I feel like you're going to want to rip them apart. But my advice is to just give them a chance to explain. Give them a chance to, you know, um, present the opportunity to you. Anyhow, um, it could be like a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, a Leo. I did say Libra earlier. Um, whatever is happening. There is happiness to be had, and it could last forever. It really could. Good luck.